Do you want to know the basics of Autodesk AutoCAD to start producing your initial ideas and maybe to develop your project? If so, then just continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Tips with Mona. My name is Mona Abu Fayyad, I'm an architect and a designer. On this platform, I explain some architectural and designing content. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell on so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. But for now, let's start our video. So today, I'm going to be starting a new series to explain Autodesk AutoCAD. In this series, I'll be explaining the user interface, we're going to understand the unit, we're going to understand the command, we're going to make simple drawings, and I'm going to explain the object snaps, work with layers, and plots. We're going to understand dimensions, and then we're going to produce PDF. So, these videos are going to be added to the Autodesk AutoCAD playlist on my channel, but for now, let's start the first video. So, for me, I have Autodesk AutoCAD 2021. I'll open it. When you first open your AutoCAD Autodesk, this is what you will see. Okay, you have these two tabs. You have the Create tab over here and you have the Learn tab over here. In the Learn tab, you can find some tutorials, if we can call them tutorials, and they can here tell you about anything new in Autodesk, AutoCAD, and so on. But this is our Create tab. Here, you will find your recent projects the last thing that you worked on is gonna appear at the top and here you can sign in into your Autodesk account and here you can get any new notifications if you want to start working you can click on start drawing or you can open a file from your own computer let's start a new drawing okay so this is called application pattern if you click it, you will find the frequently used tools such like new, open file, save or save as, import, maybe import a PDF or these types of files. Maybe you can export from this one. You can export to DWF, DWFX and so on. And you have to publish, print, drawing utilities and so on. And here you have your recently closed projects. And right here, we have the quick access tool part. This quick access tool part will have similar things to, to the tools that we have in our application bottom. So we have the save, save as, open file, and print, undo, and redo, and so on. And from here, you can customize your quick access tool part. And here, this is called the ribbon area. In this ribbon area, you will have your tabs right here. These are your drawing tabs you can add new file from here or maybe you can close it and here you have panels all right panels of tools let's say that this is your draw panel so here you have your line polyline circle arcs rectangle and other stuff and here is your drawing area this space is called your working space at the bottom right here we have our command bar this command bar you can use shortcuts to go to your commands or tools and right here we have the status bar toggles of course i'm gonna explain everything i'm saying right now but let's start step by step right here you have your layers i'm gonna be explaining them also but for now i'm gonna start with these simple tools to make it easier for you so let's start with our line. Let's say that we're gonna draw a line. Can you notice how my cursor changed as soon as I clicked on the line? So I clicked on the line and my cursor changed. So let's specify the first point of our line. I'm gonna just click one click and then move my mouse and then click the other point. So this is a line. If I click enter or space on my keyboard it's gonna repeat the same command which is line so this is for the command the first thing you need to know that if you click on a command and then you 
the first thing you want to see if you're a beginner is to read your comment bar. So the line is telling you specify first point. So here I'm specifying the first point and then it's telling me specify next point or undo. So I'm gonna specify my next point like this and that's it. And then the second thing you need to know after reading this bar if you want to repeat the command, then just click space or enter. If you want to navigate through your project on Autodesk AutoCAD, then I'm gonna explain something to you. So this is my mouse right here. If you scroll down, it will zoom out. If you scroll up, it will zoom in. If you just keep clicking on your scroll and move your mouse, it will move it will move around your drawing and right here you have you have your directions you can rotate your working space but it won't rotate the drawing itself it will just rotate your working space it won't rotate your drawing okay now if you want to select the line we have many methods to select the first one is window from right to left from right to left we have the green window it will select anything that crosses the rectangle like this the second way of selection is from left to right which is our blue selection tool it will select only the elements that are covering the rectangle for example let's say that I'm selecting like this the first line is fully inside the rectangle the second line is partially inside the rectangle so in this case, it will only select the first line because it was fully inside the rectangle. And you will see when we start working how this is very important for us. And then we have another way of selecting is the lasso tool selection. For this, you will need to keep pressing your left click on your mouse and then move your mouse. And this is how you can use it. All right. Okay, for now, I'm going to show you how we can set units in our project. For, for that, you will need to go to your command bar and type UN. Uh, one thing about Autodesk AutoCAD I want you to know is that when you start writing the command, it will give you the list of commands that will have the same first letter. And after you start working a lot on AutoCAD, you will memorize the shortcuts. For example, if you type U and enter, you will enable the units command. Right here, now it's in millimeters. You can set it to any unit you like to work with. Let's change it to meters and then hit OK. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to draw a line with dimensions. Let's click on line. Let's specify the first point and then move it to the direction that I want, left or right. And then on my keyboard, I'm going to type the dimension that I want. Let's say that I want a line of 1000 meter. I'll just type 1000. Okay, and this is a 1000 meter line. Let's say that I want to create a square of 500 meters. Okay, uh, I specified my first point and then I moved it to the direction that I want my square to go into and then I'll type 500, I'll go up 500, I'll go left 500 and then you can, you can also type 500 and go down or you can just hit C which stands for close, enter and it will close your shape. Also, you can use your square tool and you can read in the command bar, the directions to draw, you can set the area, the dimension, the rotation. Also, you can use your polyline. Polyline, the difference between the polyline and the lines is that in your polyline, it will create for you connected lines, just like that. So if I select this shape, it will give me connected lines. Whereas in the line, if I select the shape that I made by using the line, it will select only line by line. All right, for the arc, you have many arcs here. Let's, for example, select this one, start and direction. You can select your first point, second point, and the direction if it's up or down. All right, 
So this is for the draw tool. It's very easy, very basic. And now let's move to this bar right here. Okay, I'll tell you what basically this bar is about. It's very simple. I'll explain what you will need. This is called the display grid. Do you see this grid? This is related to this right here. If you click it, it will disappear. If you click it back, it will show. I think it's very important for me. I like it always on. This one is for the ortho mode. Ortho mode is very important. The ortho mode, if you click it on, it will let you draw on the X axis or the Y axis. It will force you to draw on Y or X. But if you switch it off and then go to line, it will allow you to draw with different angles. And this one is called the polar tracking. Polar tracking will give you guidelines of angles. So here, if you click it, you will see guides of 90, 180, 270, 360 and so on. So I'll keep it on the first one and I'll show you. So now after I turned it on, it will show me like a green guide for this angle, green guide for the 90 angle, green guide for the 180 angle and so on. And you can change it to let's say 45, 90, 135 and so on. You can use your line and look right here. This is my 45, this is my 90, this is my 135 angle, this is my 135 again. 45 again and zero so that's basically it and i'm gonna finally explain the object snap it's one of the most important tools okay so here you can see it's like a guide for you when you draw it will show you for example when you draw a square the square means that you are drawing at your end point of the shape the triangle will show you the midpoint the circle will show you the center and so on these are so important and it will make drawing so much easier if you switch it on let me show you for example this is a polyline and this is a circle if i want to start drawing with my line above this thing this is a square appearing and this means that this is my end point and this is a triangle showing that this means that this is my midpoint and so on and this is a circle showing which shows that this is the center of my circle and so on if you want to delete any shape you can just select it and on your keyboard you can select delete or erase or you can select it and type e enter and it will erase it because e is the shortcut for erase so in this tutorial i explained the user interface the units and some of our draw commands in the next tutorial i'll be explaining this tab right here which is the modify tab and the dimensions and maybe the layers it will be so useful for you and we're gonna then explain blocks we're gonna start simple drawings and i'm gonna show you how to create pdfs this will be very helpful for you but for now try to repeat this video and try to to keep practicing about the things that i just explained because if this is your first time i don't want to make it overwhelming to you just try to uh, memorize these things that i just showed you uh, and try to create different lines anything you like circles and so on and in the next tutorial i'm gonna be explaining the rest so this was the end of our first video of this series. Please don't forget to keep watching this series to continue learning Autodesk AutoCAD. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notifications bell on if you haven't already. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.